Hey folks, Dr. Grossmeyer from Aspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be listening to this, I hope you're having a great day. Today, I want to talk about accountability partners. Yes, accountability partners. After all, we've talked before, how do we know we are serious? How do we know that we are ready to do the thing to get the results? If we're dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity, how do we know that we're really serious? Now, we human beings, all of us are a funny lot. We say a lot of stuff and we would like a lot of stuff, but there's a big difference between a wish and a concrete goal. Like I am going to do this thing. I'd like to have a million dollars versus I am absolutely going to make a plan to earn a million dollars. So there's a huge difference. Now, what is one of the ways we gauge how serious we are about something? And it's simply the investment. If we are ready to invest our time, our energy, and yes, our money in doing something, we are much more serious. We have transformed or in the process of transforming a wish. I'd like this. I'd like my digestive issues. I'd like my autoimmunity to be in a better place. I'd like to get healthy. Those are all wishes, right? Then when we invest our time, our energy, and our money in doing those things, we know we're much more serious. Now it's become a goal. I am going to improve these issues. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to move towards a bigger and better life. Now, another thing, another piece, another investment, if you will, is accountability. So let's be real with each other. What's one way we know we're not serious or not that serious about actually doing a goal, transforming a wish into a goal. One of the ways is we don't want accountability. We try and avoid accountability. When that is true, we know we're not that serious. So we have people who come to us who say, I'm ready to do anything to get better, to deal with these digestive issues, to deal with this autoimmunity. I'll do anything. And we say, great. We start to get it set up. And then we introduce the element of accountability. We know right away the people who are truly serious versus the people who aren't. Because the people who are truly serious welcome the accountability. They want the accountability to help push them to make sure they do the things that they need to do to achieve the goals that they really want. We know that people who you know, try to slide out from under accountability or say, no, no, you know, I don't need accountability. I'm all good to go. Or in some way, you know, just try and dodge the accountability truly aren't serious about making the change because we're not serious. We're not doing the things we want to. Of course, no one likes the, the downside of accountability, right? Being held accountable for our actions. And when we're not doing the things that we said we're going to do, being called out or being penalized or, if you will, right, getting a little bit of a punishment. No, no one likes those things. But if we're truly serious about accomplishing our goals, we welcome accountability and we use the threat of punishment, if you will, as an additional motivation to do the things that we've decided that we're going to do. So, yes, of course, accountability can have a dark side. It can be used negatively. And none of that is a good thing. Remember, no shame, no blame, no guilt, right? No fault, but responsibility. We talked before about the difference between fault and responsibility, why it's so important to make that shift. If you haven't listened to that podcast, I recommend that you go back and give that one a listen. All right, so accountability is a crucial tool that we all can use to increase our investment in the course of action. So in this case, in recovering, dealing with digestive issues, not immunity, getting healthier, investment is one of the two, uh, sorry, accountability is a form of investment, which is a tool that we can use to increase our odds for success. So if you're working with a healthcare practitioner, they should be providing you with accountability. Are you doing the things that you need to be doing? And again, not in a negative shame, blame, and guilt way, but in a responsibility way. You said you were going to make these changes to your diet. You said you were going to take these supplements, or you said you were going to do this, that, or the other thing. Did you do it? If not, why? Why did you not do it? And what do we need to change to make sure that it actually happens? All right. Now, other than a healthcare practitioner, we can recruit an accountability partner. So for some of us, our healthcare practitioner can be our accountability partner, but we can bring in accountability partners in 
our life. So that can be at our work. If we have work goals, we can bring in a work buddy or a work friend or a boss or whoever is appropriate to help serve as our accountability partner. And in our personal life, we can bring friends and we can bring family in to help be our accountability partners. Now, it's important here that we straddle the line between tough love and support, right? Sometimes our friends and our family members aren't willing or able to give us the tough love that an accountability partner needs to be able to give. So again, you need to get called out on your actions. And we need to not allow ourselves, our accountability partners need to not allow us to make too many excuses for why things didn't happen. So sometimes our friends and family, well, you know, I know you're busy and I know this and I know that and oh my gosh, it's okay. and Don't worry about it. And they kind of don't want to call us out because of the relationship that we have with them. So when you're evaluating or looking at your friends and family, you need to decide if is that person really capable of serving as an accountability partner? And it's okay if they're not. Look, not everybody in our lives needs to be accountability partners, but we need the right mix for our accountability partner to be there. And then we need to, so first of all, recognizing the value of accountability partners. Second, evaluating the people in your life. Is there someone who would serve as a good accountability partner? And then thirdly, is being clear about what they're actually holding you accountable for. So again, we need goals. And from those goals, we need actions. So classic example, right? I'm going to lose 10 pounds of I'm going to get in shape. The problem with I'm going to lose some weight, I'm going to get in shape, is that the goals are so nebulous, so big and generalized that there's nothing to really hold accountable there. Instead, when we transform I want to lose weight into I want to lose 10 pounds and I want to get in shape to I want to go to the gym three days a week, we even need to take I want to lose 10 pounds into more clear, actionable goals, maybe losing 10 pounds is, uh, you know, I'm going to prepare my dinners five days a week, and I'm going to go to the gym three times a week, right? Just whatever it is for you, we need concrete actions so that then our accountability partner can come back to us and say, okay, you said you were going to prepare your dinner five days a week. Did you do that? Yes or no. You said you were going to go to the gym three days a week. Did you do that? Yes or no, right? So we need to recognize we need accountability. We need to evaluate the people in our lives and find the right one who can give us the right mix of tough love. Uh, We need to have concrete goals that they can actually hold us accountable for. And lastly, we need some kind of a punishment, if you will, right? Again, human beings, I wish it were different. All of us, we take action when there's good pleasure. There's something we really want, you know, making a million dollars and what it's going to do, how it's going to transform our lives and what that's going to look like or pain. You know, our car is going to be repoed and towed away. So we need to do whatever it is we need to do. Right. So human beings, uh, we we move towards pleasure and we move away from pain. And then unfortunately, again, it's the way human beings are wired, you and me both, we tend to move away from pain more than we move towards pleasure. So the idea of making a million dollars sounds great. The idea of not having our car towed away sounds a whole lot better. So the last piece in accountability is having some form of, of stick here, right? You've heard of the carrot, the thing we want, the stick, the thing we don't. So what is the stick if you don't do the thing you're going to do. Now, for some of us, the reality is having someone check in on us and disapprove when we don't do the thing that we said we're going to do is enough of a stick for us. But we have to be realistic about each of us. Some of us need bigger sticks than others. Some of us respond better to carrots than others. So this is about knowing yourself and understanding what either carrot can you put in place So when you consistently do the things you're going to do, what is the reward that you're going to get? Or when you don't do the things that you say you're going to do, what is the stick that you're going to get? So only you can decide on that. And remember, again, not about shame, blame, or guilt, but it's finding the right mix of carrots and sticks that motivate us to do the things that we have decided that we're going to do to get the results that we want. So we can set things up 
to get us the results that we want. And one powerful tool is an accountability partner. Now, it's finding the right accountability partner, it's having the right goals, and it's setting up the right carrots and sticks. But if you do those things, you can find that having an accountability partner is a huge tool that you can use to help you achieve your goals. Now, hopefully, in terms of health, digestive issues, and autoimmunity, your health practitioner is going to be that person to help you. Sadly, we see that a lot of times that doesn't actually happen, but we can make contracts, like agreements, right, with our healthcare practitioner to ask them to help us to achieve our goals. All right, folks, so that is it for me today, the power of an accountability partner. Use it, take advantage of it, and as your accountability partner in this moment in time, here is what your next step is. You need to go to the website, www.aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book. AspireNaturalHealth.com slash book. That's Aspire is an A-S-P-I-R-E, NaturalHealth.com slash book, and get a copy of my best-selling book. I'm immensely proud of it. It is the result of over 10 years of working with people with digestive issues and autoimmunity, literally tens of thousands of hours spent in education and study. And again, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars spent in education and study and practice. I've taken all of that and I've distilled it down into a book sharing the principles of health and the principles of disease so that you can clear through the clutter and you can understand what you need to do to get healthy and stay healthy. We've had people tell us that by reading the book and putting the information side into action, they have transformed their lives. And that's what we want for you. So as your accountability partner, what I need you to do is go to AspireNaturalHealth.com slash book and get the book today. All right, folks, that is it for me. Until next time. Take care.